First thing you're going to want to do is ensure that your water pump is turned off. Next you'll open your faucets, make sure that the water pressure is out of your lines. And you want to ensure that your holding tanks are empty. This goes for your freshwater tank. There is a valve on there and we'll go ahead and let that run out. Now you'll locate your freshwater low point drains and remove the caps on that. Let those uh, drain out. Next so what you'll do is go to your water heater and we'll remove this uh, anode rod if you have a Suburban. If you have a Domenic there will be a plastic plug that you're going to remove and then we'll take and uh, pull up our pressure release valve there and that will help drain it out. Okay, it helps if you have a transfer pump. We can put it in a little hole there and remove remove the water that's in the uh, bottom of the tank. Okay, now I want that all removed. Take our little hose out of there. Close our pressure release valve. Okay, I put my transfer pump in the bottle of RV antifreeze and I put about three to four ounces in the bottom of the hot water heater to ensure that if there was any residue water in there that uh, it won't freeze. Okay, I'm going to take uh, remove the Teflon tape from my anode rod here. It's on, uh, still in okay shape. Uh, you should replace it once a year. So I'll replace the Teflon tape here. If you're looking at the top here, you wrap it around counterclockwise. And we'll give it uh, three to four turns on there and then reinstall it. Next we'll go to our city water connection here. And I'm gonna put a fitting on here to go ahead and take some compressed air to uh, blow out the lines and the important thing you need to do is ensure your air compressor if I can get the glare off of here we're gonna put it at 40 psi so take the regulator and run it down before you try this you don't want to blow out any of your plumbing lines from too much pressure Now uh, we'll take this off of here, close up our drain valve on our fresh water tank and replace our low point drain plugs. Next what we'll do is locate our water pump and we'll find the strainer and the suction line we'll take and we will disconnect that this comes from your water tank and we'll hook up a hose and a fitting here if you happen to have a flow jet you will need to have a special quad port fitting and that'll look similar to this and there'll be a blue tab. You just uh, pull that tab up, pull the fitting out, and then insert this. And on the very opposite end, we're going to stick that into our bottle of RV antifreeze. Now with that connected, we want to go over to the hot water heater 
and turn the bypass valves so we don't have to fill up the entire water heater with antifreeze. Now we'll stick our hose into the bottom of our antifreeze there and we'll turn the pump on. Okay, our pump turned on, pressurized the lines with the antifreeze. Now what we'll do is turn on the faucets and until it runs with that pink. Want to do the both the hot and the cold and we'll do the shower as well as the other sinks and also the toilet. thing you want to do is also make sure that you run it through your shower head. Okay, we'll turn the water pump off. Now we'll go ahead, disconnect our suction line here that we had in our bottle of antifreeze and reinstall our suction line from our water tank. Last thing we'll do is whatever we have left in our bottle, this is, it took about a gallon and a half to do it, and we'll just fill up the drains in the toilet with uh, whatever left over.